ça va? Most days, Alain Yav can be found in his Kinshasa office on the banks of the Congo River. Pigma Group, founded 12 years ago by Yav and four colleagues, is involved in many business ventures. The focus of their company is consulting, construction and communication. Okay, je vais faire semblant de regarder un truc chez toi. T'as pas une vidéo sympa? Yav is head of their highly successful communications arm. Là, on va poser et chaque sortie, c'est... Ça, c'est grave. J'ai même pas envie d'aller. Gauthier en a besoin pour venir dans l'écran. Avec la musique. Je l'ai. Allô But most Fridays, Alain Yav changes gears slightly and can be found on the set of one of the Congo's most popular television shows. This beauty queen reality show is a product of Pigma and Yav is very proud of it. <laughs> no, we ride right into, into hot Kinshasa, into hot crazy Kinshasa. Uh, I'm busy, you know, you know uh, shooting a reality show. It's a big reality show. It's the biggest show in town. Uh, it's popular in Congo. It's popular outside of Congo. Um, yeah, and uh, it's, uh, you know, we're telling a beautiful story about uh, beautiful country and beautiful people. That's what it is. Tu vois, il y a encore beaucoup de points d'interrogation. Tu vois, encore des, des ordres, les ordres, la chanson ici qui manque. Yav has spent a lot of time outside of his home country, but a decade ago, he made a change. We came back to Congo just before the elections, uh, you know, over 10 years ago, and I must say, the place starting to look good now, it was a bit of a disaster right then. Uh, there was no advertising agency, there was no serious clients, there was no money. Uh, TV stations and everything was just chaotic. And we just took a crazy challenge, you know. Uh, I mean, I was actually sitting comfortably in Johannesburg, you know, going up the ladders in corporate. And I said, no, I mean, I think uh, they must be much, much, it must be much more rewarding to be down here and doing something meaningful. <laughs> So we took the challenge, uh, you know, local skills, local, local, lots of local talents, went into academy, recruited people, trained the guys, brought in expats, did exchange programs, um, transfer of skills and so on. So yeah, we started timidly, 10 people, you know, one low level TV ad uh, produced and so on. Well, 10 years, 10 years later, we're doing major, uh, major productions, you know, um, you know, high scale production that we're exporting outside, outside the country. We build skill level um, from, uh, you know, our designers internally, uh, cameramen, uh, directors. I mean, this show is 100% um, Congolese. Uh, Congolese by the crew and uh, I think you know you'll watch the result if you have a chance but it's uh, I think it's quite uh, quite quite rewarding to see the progress this hugely popular reality show is an ideal vehicle to showcase both the country and the talent of its creators it also gives visibility to a whole crop of aspiring beauty queens. And provides the greater population with hours of entertaining TV. All fans of the show have their favorite dream girl, and they vote to keep her on the screens. <laughs> and I mean, we're looking, we're looking for the dream, the dream girl. And, um, and, you know, of course we go beyond, beyond the cliches. Uh, is she tall, is she short, is she light? And Congo is a big country. You, you have totally different uh, physical types, but we go beyond the physical. We're looking for external beauty, but most of, most of all, we're also looking for internal beauty. 
uh, we're looking for real values, okay? We're looking for the girl who can be the, the real ambassador of true Congolese, Congolese beauty, Congolese values. Also different interesting challenges. We challenge values. For example, today the, 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 theme, the theme is on marriage, you know? And we're celebrating the value of marriage. Uh, last week, the theme was on, on uh, intellect. Um, the woman had to debate, like a presidential, presidential debate, and they had to discuss and, you know, frontal debate about different social, social issues, you know. We had interesting discussions about, you know, should a woman uh, uh, divorce or, or is, it, is it a bad thing? And, you know, it's taking the, the country by storm, those type of discussions. Uh, but then we also do interesting and fun things, for example, can you dance? We are African and we love dancing, so, you know, we'll be doing, you know, uh, can you dance and dance challenge. Uh, so it's really that variety. Over 12 weeks, we assess from cooking to dancing to uh, can you be a corporate woman and work in a corporate environment. Outside of Kinshasa, the DRC has very little infrastructure. Long years of conflict, the vast size of the country and a natural geography of extensive rivers and impenetrable forests all contribute to the daunting task of developing comprehensive infrastructure networks. None of this stops Alain from making good business in his hometown. We basically have to redo, relearn everything. Very, 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 very challenging. Come to Kinshasa, you unlearn what you thought you knew. You take your MBA book, you take your business plan, put in the pocket, and start from scratch. Okay, on y va, ça tourne. Cinq, quatre, trois, deux, applaudissements. I think we're starting to feel rewarded because, um, you know, it's, it's hard when you're working really hard. At some point in time, you stop believing. Uh, but I think we're lucky enough because we're seeing it progressing. Not just us, not just our company, not just our industry, but we're seeing things moving forward in every direction. On the other side, I mean, we're very optimistic. Africa as a whole is buzzing, um, you know, and the future is just amazing. And we'll be on the first line to make it happen. For more on this week's show, go to cnn.com slash Inside Africa and follow the team on Twitter.